Hi everyone, how's it going? HKUHD here, and welcome to another video. With the release of iOS 14.5, Apple have added the support of the PS5 DualSense controller, so you can now connect your DualSense controller to your iOS device via Bluetooth. This is great if you plan on using your device for remote play. I'm going to show you how to set up remote play on your iPad. These steps will also work on your iPhone. We need the PS Remote Play app. So first we're going to head over to the App Store and find the PS Remote Play app. So next we're going to download it and open the app. I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to open it. Here we are prompted to sign in with our PSN account. So just quickly enter your details and click sign in. We are then asked what data we would like to provide. We are then shown a prompt of how to connect a DualShock 4 controller. But the same steps will also work with the DualSense controller. To pair the DualSense controller you need to press and hold the create button and the PS button together until you see the controller pulse in blue. So if you just head over to your Bluetooth settings, you can select the DualSense controller and connect to it. Now that we have the DualSense controller connected to the iPad, let's now select PS5. A prompt appears to show you how to enable remote play on the PS5. On your PS5 head over to settings. System. Remote play, then you can toggle enable remote play. I'm also going to change some settings for rest mode so that I can turn on the PS5 from the remote play app. So to do this select power saving, features available in rest mode, then toggle stay connected to the internet. Also make sure enable turning on PS5 from network is turned on. So if we head back to the PS app and select PS5, it will connect to the PS5 and from there you can play as if you were sitting in front of your screen. So the remote play app has signed me into the PS5. So here you can see me scrolling through the games menu. You do have some settings you can change in the PS remote play app such as select the resolution which is limited to 1080p. Also if you'd like HDR you can select between automatic or off. You do need a reliable internet connection for this to work, and this only works over Wi-Fi. Although I can connect my iPad to my phone's mobile network and try to connect to my PS5, but it is quite unreliable. Here's some gameplay of me remote playing on my iPad using the DualSense controller. There are some limitations at the moment with remote play. I tried the controller demo on Astro's Playroom to see if the haptics or adaptive triggers would work. However, these features are currently not available on this version of the Remote Play app. I found that the touchpad and motion controls worked. Hopefully Sony will be able to add these features in a future update. I did enable the option to allow me to turn on my PS5 via network. So from this video you can see I have the Remote Play app open. And when I click on my PS5 it will turn my PS5 on from Remote Play. This is useful if you don't have physical access to your PS5. If you however don't have this option on, then you would first have to turn the PS5 on with the power button. I hope you found this video useful. If you got value from this video then drop a like. If there's any other tech videos you would like to see then drop them in the comments below. Anyway, see you in the next one.